The 15 hectare farm is located along the national road just two kilometers away from the town center of Tigaon. First step was the fencing with concrete posts and cuttings of fast growing trees. A small portion of the farm was rented out to a farmer who operated a nursery for calamansi lemon trees. Four hectares of the farm were planted with approximately 2200 calamansi trees. The removal of the weeds was very labor intensive and expensive. At the same time, the old water pump was repaired. We also planted about one and a half hectare with vegetables and papaya trees. We are using a special soil mixture which contains charcoal, ashes and chicken dung. This method is called terra preta and was invented from the old Indios in Brazil about 2000 years ago. With this technique, a lot of commercial fertilizer and pesticides can be saved. Because of the charcoal, which will be stable in the soil for thousands of years, it is also a net carbon sink. Planting in sacks requires a higher initial investment, but it prevents heavy damages caused by stagnant water during rainy season. At the beginning we used second-hand rice sacks, but later on we found out that the black polybags are much more durable and cheaper on the long run. To reduce the weed problem, we are mulching the calamansi and papaya trees. The space between the trees is planted with chili, eggplants, tomatoes and lemongrass. With the assistant of Ferdinand, an agricultural student from Vienna, Austria, we started a big experiment for testing different soil mixtures. Some are pure organic, others are with commercial fertilizer and also combinations of both. There are 12 different mixtures 22 sacks each at open field and in the semi-shade under the papaya trees. Once in a week we are measuring the height of the plants, number of branches and we are also counting and measuring the harvested fruits. <laughs> Another big project was the planting of 50 seedlings of Macapuno coconut trees. The Macapunos are intercropped with squash and protected by a living fence of fast growing trees. Our first experiment with animals are free range turkeys. They are just eating weeds, papaya leaves and insects. After 10 months the males reached a weight of 6 kilo and had a very tender and nice meat. The bamboo for the construction and the trellis is also grown on our farm. For the comfort of our workers and visitors, we constructed a cottage with kitchen and toilet rooms. 
in order to guard the farm, there are always some workers staying there overnight. Our experimental dryer is fired by rice husk. The smokeless hot air is generated in the double wall of the concrete oven. We tested flatbed and drum dryer with different temperatures to dry rice and vegetables. The local government of Tigarn is operating a flatbed dryer which the small rice farmers can rent. The dryer is fired with rice husk. The ashes are used as a part for the organic fertilizer. With this simple method, we are sterilizing the soil for the seedling trays. The vegetable and tree seedlings are raised at our nursery. The shredded biomass is filled in the compost bins. Since September 2010, the Department of Agriculture is conducting seminars for small vegetable farmers at our farm. Every Thursday, about 30 farmers are trained in different planting methods as well as in preparation of biological pesticides. We are selling a part of our harvest at our own store at the market of Tigaron.